I'm happy to say that the old political alignments are dissolving. Right and left. The right and the left have become all mixed up anyhow. It used to be the Democratic Party opposed censorship. It was the Democratic Party that wanted to rein in the military and the CIA. It was the Democratic Party that fought corporate influence. Remember when Wall Street and big corporations all supported the Republicans? Well, who is the liberal now, and who's the conservative? Who is the left, who is the right? These labels make less and less sense. And out of habit, we still group ourselves around the empty husks of those old alignments and threadbare ideologies. But now that habit is breaking down. That's why half the electorate no longer identifies with any political party. And 63% of Americans want an independent to run for president. Of course, the outer structures of the party still dominate, dominate the political landscape, but they're hollowed out from within like a building full of termites. What kind of new political structures might emerge from those ruins? What is politics going to look like when it's no longer us versus them? American democracy should be more than just picking between two candidates anointed by shadowy institutions. Big oil funds the Republicans. Big tech funds the Democrats. Big Pharma and the military contractors make sure to give to both. Instead of two parties, we have this kind of uniparty, a, a two-headed monster that's constantly bickering with itself as it leads us all over a cliff. And, and at the bottom of that cliff is the destruction of our country. Neither party has offered any kind of meaningful resistance to the endless wars that have sucked dry our wealth and slaughtered our youth. Neither has done anything to reverse the erosion of the American middle class. Both of them are powerless to rein in our exploding deficits. They have contributed equally to the corporate giveaways, to the corruption in Washington, and to the erection of a surveillance state. Yeah, there are good and honest people within both parties, even in their leadership. But the system itself is hopelessly corrupt.